beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here you're most definitely welcome and if you are a returning subscriber a million kisses mm, mm, mm. Uh, today we're going to be doing this two in one uh, headband week it is really convenient it is beautiful as i said two in one and you can style it in as many ways as you like so <laughs> I had fun creating this video because most of the time I didn't know what I was doing. So I was learning on the job and I'm sure you're going to learn something as well. And um, what else? I used, I think, one one strand and a little bit more of uh, expression braiding hair. So you see with just that, a little money, you can rock something this nice and uh, very versatile. You can do whatever you want to do with it. So thank you very much for coming. Please do subscribe do like and please share my video let's get straight into the tutorial so the first thing we did was to uh, secure the dome cap on the mannequin's head and then we put this uh, headband i got it from lazada it's an online shop so i cut it into two not into two right i cut it in the middle <laughs> Yeah, after cutting it in the middle, I look for the line where the seam is and I place it on the dome cap. I place it a little just above the, the elastic band on the dome cap. So after placing it there, I secure it at the back with uh, my pins. If you are looking for extra income, you can actually just do these caps, these uh, headband wig caps and, and sell them for people to use and make their wigs with. So after doing that, I adjust it so that it's just slightly above the uh, the elastic band, and I start sewing. I'll sew from one ear to the next. I will not sew the back part. I'll just sew from one ear to the next. When we reach the end, we secure the thread and cut it off. After that, we cut out the elastic band uh, that was left out in front, the elastic band in front, such that we have just the, the headband in front. Sorry, I, I lost the footage where I saw the Velcro, but you're going to see a Velcro later on in the video i saw the velcro at the back of the the headband it's a velcro that is going to use to secure the headband tightly at the back of your head so after doing that i adjust the the headband such that there is a fraction on top of the dome cap and a fraction just out of the dome cap if you understand what i mean as you can see there expression braiding hair 33 color number 33 i used to think 33 is brown but i don't know when i ordered it online it came in this color so i'm not sure <laughs> i cut it into two and then i stretch it there we go after stretching it i make sure i comb it very well such that it is fully detangled I 
get my small crochet pin i'm using the small crochet pin because of the cap i'm using the holes are really tight so i could not use the big crochet pin so depending on the cap you're using if you if the big crochet pin is convenient for you it's okay but for me it wasn't so that's why i went in with the small crochet pin and it still worked so i just keep crocheting I've made several videos while I was crocheting so I'm not really going to dwell much on the crochet part of this but what I do what I did is um, along the line that's the outer line of the cap I really crochet the hair tightly together but in the middle I spaced it out I just do the whole hair now when you come to the front you want to make sure it's more it's uh, like really tight together otherwise there are going to be a lot of spaces so there you go if you're going for a straight headband wig you have it there <laughs> but that's not what we're going for let's proceed so i put the hair together i want to start um twisting the hair or curling the hair i'm going to be using the straws and bobby pins so I just hold the hair up to make it easy for me to work. Here I get my straw and then I wrap the hair around it. Very close to the bottom. And I secure it with the bobby pin. After that, I just keep twisting and turning. I twist and turn. That's the curl pattern I'm going for. You have to twist and turn. If you don't twist and turn, you're going to have a different curl pattern. That's not what I was going for. It could still be beautiful for you, but I was going for the twisting and turning. Uh, the kind of pattern I wanted. I needed to twist and turn. Again, I have other videos where I've shown in detail how to um, curl hair using the straw and the bobby pin, so we are not going to dwell on that again. <laughs> you just repeat the same thing there. and turning and you do the same thing on all the hair if you're still watching thus far please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel we're really going to do beautiful things i'm going to show you five ways to style this hair so there you go i'm done and then i put conditioner i'm using dove conditioner there conditioner and hot water really hot water boiled just pour it in there and make sure all the hair soaks in and I let it dry overnight and then I get um, a piece of cloth that's just a piece of old satin I had at home I just cut it and I cut also my uh, Swiss lace that's the part I'm going to be using to crochet the hair this part is for the bob in front so I'm cutting that hair at the, the bob in front at 7.5 inches I measured it from the end of my one eyebrow to the end of the other. You can measure up to you how you want your bangs to look. So after doing that, I sewed it together and then the width was 2 inches. But you realize later on in the video, I'm still going to reduce this width because I realized it was too big. So after getting that, I... Okay, there is a velcro now. <laughs> I went in with my velcro i measured it at seven inches because after sewing the extension i had it came down to about 7.1 inch so i cut my velcro at seven inches i put the two sides together after cutting it i realized the width was big also so i reduced the width as well by like one centimeters one centimeter <laughs> not meters okay there you go i separate it now 
and I'm going to sew one end one side to the bangs as extension I'm making there I tried to sew but it was hard it was too strong so I decided to to glue it on I was using the fabric glue there you can sew if it's convenient for you you could as well use the glue gun as well if you want to glue the hot glue gun so I'm using the fabric glue there I just glued it on there let it set for a while and then I crochet the hair this one I cut into the hair for the bangs I cut into four the hair for the part the other part of the hair was into two but this one I cut it into four that's after crocheting everything on the bangs now I go in there to curl with my straw and bobby pin and everything is done I put it in hot water as well so now I just take off the straws from the hair there you go see the bands that's extra hair I'm going to glue that the extra fabric there I'm going to glue it at the back again that's what I said the two inches was too much you could do one and a half inch and I put the other part of the velcro on the the wig itself in front remember i said one the end of my eyebrow to the other there you go the bangs is attached to the hair now i go in there to separate the hair just separate the hair to make it fluffy mm, that looks beautiful I love the curls I just I took my time and separated everything one at a time I separated both the, that for the main wig and that for the bangs and after that I got my keratin leaving oil sheen and I just sprayed it all over it to give it the shine and to make it soft and then I went in with my scissors and trimmed it for the bangs I took at both sides I just held a, a little handful of hair and kept aside you see both ends of the bangs I kept aside a little handful of hair and then the hair in the middle I trimmed it I made, I made it shorter it's up to you how you want your bangs to look if you want it to be equal length okay but I wanted the ones at the side to be longer than the one in the middle now we're going to be styling our hair I showed five different styles here there you go we have a detachable bang a detachable bangs and the main wig see with the velcro you can decide to wear the bangs the, the wig without the bangs or you put in the bangs and it looks like two different wigs see <laughs> Oh my god, I love this project. There you go. See? You have your headband there at the back. I did not bother to take out to open the velcro because it's okay for me. It's just fitting enough for me. You could as well put the pins, the weak pins, if you feel it's going to be too loose on your hair. Oh wow, <laughs> I love this. This is the first style you can rock your hair with. You could put a different hair, uh, headband there just to cover the black hairband you have there. You see the bangs in front, it's quite not, it's not noticeable that that too is detachable. Mm. And the next style, see. I got in my Ankara uh, head tie and just tied it there. I made a big bow in front. And onto the third style. Oh, this one I held it all up with my blue headscarf. I just held it all up and made a bow in front as well with my bangs on. 
I actually lost some footage of the other styles I did too. You're also going to see the pictures of the styles I did. Mm, this is beautiful. And there you go without the bangs. See, you hold it up. Thank you for staying tuned. I'll see you again in my next tutorial. Please do like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.